Greetings family. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Mugi's Corner. My corner, your corner, our corner. Now this is a special video because I have traveled a very long way out of my, you know, usual city. You all know I always rock around Ginger City but I'm in a slightly new uh, territory, right? Now I have traveled over 350 kilometers to Lira City. Lira City is in the northern part of the country. Now I want to start this year on a kind of an on a, on a note where I go around the country showing you the different cities, the different towns and the people in the different cities and towns and villages of our beautiful part of Africa, Uganda. So we are starting off the year in Lira City and I want to show you how Lira City is looks like in 2024. Now, 2024, I declare and decree that it's going to be my year of travel. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yo, man's moving like a, a charismatic pastor. Anyway, uh, let's go on this vlog as I show you how Lira City looks like in 2024. Come with me. Yes, right. Shalom, shalom, family. What's up, everyone? This is Yosmugi. And I'm in Lira City. All right. So I want to show you how Lira City looks like in 2024. So we start off this video nice and easy right here at the roundabout. Ah. Uh, all right. So guys, we are on Obote Avenue. This road was named after the president of Uganda. Obote was the president of Uganda twice. So we are on Obote Avenue in Lira City, guys. I want to dedicate this video to all my all my people from Lira City if you're watching and you're from this city man I dedicate this video to you this is for you especially you who are outside Lira City in the diaspora now when I talk about the diaspora what I actually mean is if you're no longer working or living in Lira City you can be in Kampala, Mbarara, Gulu, anywhere, as long as you're outside Lira City. So right now we are passing Lira Central Market. It's a very beautiful market. It was constructed by the government to boost trade. Lira city. Now Lira is one of the few, um, it was a municipality a few years ago before the government designated or um, upgraded or gave city status to many municipalities. Now Lira was one of those which one of those municipalities that was given city status. a very organized and beautiful city and I was to be honest I was very shocked when I when I touched down because you know guys when you when you're over there in your local city or town and then you hear about these other different cities and towns like Lira where I am right now 
right? You hear about these cities and all you do is imagine, oh, Lira, maybe, maybe it looks like this, maybe it looks like that. And uh, to be honest with you, I was quite shocked when I arrived in Lira City. It is a very big city. Lira City is a very big city, bigger than Jinja. Wow. Now this Obote Avenue, you know, there's many banks on this road. That right there is DFCU Bank and there's a whole lot of other banks on this street. Stanbeek Bank as well. We passed Centenary Bank. This right here is Post Bank. Mm -hmm. Centenary Bank right there. So I'm telling you guys, Lira City is a very big city, guys. Very big and very busy as well. fabric market right here if you want to buy some clothes some shoes as well yo man's enjoying the ride on Obote Avenue it's beautiful it's amazing it's wonderful I love it so people This year, my goal right here on Mugi's Corner is to travel in the many parts of the country showing you the beauty of Uganda. So we, started, we start off by um, this vlog right here in Lira. is more beautiful than some of the um, the cities that I know in Uganda and there's some overrated cities but this one is is a good one still this is a nice city And it is a Sunday today. Check how busy this city is. And I imagine on a normal working day, usually, usually weekends are slow.
and I, I would imagine this is a slow day in Lira City because it's a weekend. Now, I'm imagining on a busy working day, Lira is seven primary school. Yo, I'm just passing an area where reggae music is playing and I can't help but sing to a nice reggae vibration, reggae nice, a nice reggae tune. And listen, listen to the tune. Imat Maria Road. If you're looking for me in a reggae party, me day a Moogie's Corner. So guys, thank you for always watching um, my videos right here on Moogie's Corner. I'm very grateful to my returning... Woo. I'm very grateful to my returning subscribers. And look, just the other day I was checking the analytics. from YouTube and what I saw is that most of my viewers are new viewers and they are you know viewers who have not subscribed so please I encourage you subscribe to the thing support the thing by subscribing people I don't know about you, but I can only live my life one way. All I wanna do every day is I wanna. If you're looking for me in a reggae party, me day I'm on this corner. Yo, big up, big up all, big up to all the reggae lovers. the northern parts of the country northern parts of Uganda and we're going places people that's the goal I want to go to as many places as I possibly can and show you so I encourage you guys to please support the team show your support by subscribing to the channel that's one way now the second way you can show support is become a member of the channel guys click the join button and become a paying member of Moogie's Corner that's the way uh, we are going to ensure that such beautiful vlogs keep coming your way and I you know that's how I can be able to go to these different places and bring you nice videos to keep you entertained, informed, and educated. The other way how you can support the thing is give a one-time donation. A super chat, a super thanks, a super sticker. Yeah, man. 
support the team support your little brother Mugi showing you around that's the business I, I am in and yo no respect to um, the subscribers people you have shown me overwhelming support up to this time you have really been very supportive This is the other side of the uh, Lira Central Market. I was gonna say Ginger Central Market. I got Ginger in my head. Yeah, it's a beautiful market. They sell food, they sell um, all different kind of stuff clothes a mulam complex okay. and now right now we are downtown lira city On a Sunday, very busy like this. Wow. Ah. Uh, brother, where is that nice? New unfinished mall. Okay. Now you got. Oh, I would like to go to the bus park. I don't think we have been there. Let's go to the bus park after here. Yep. Right, this is what I'm talking about. People, I want to show you this beautiful new mall. Oh man, I, I didn't get a nice shot of it. Clement Grand Mall, that's his name.
what guys so um whoo. so we are coming to the end of our vlog in Lira city okay let's go to that junction and that's where we will wrap things up can you go back no oh, we'll just stay right there so guys we are coming to the end of our vlog in Lira city like i told you thank you so much for watching this video please if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to the channel become a member of the movies corner become a member of the corner right and like comment share subscribe i want to dedicate this video to the people from Lira, from this great Teso sub region. Lango. Lango? Oh, not Teso. Yeah, it's Lango sub region. All right. Yeah. And then also, this is the end of the video, guys. We're out. Goodbye. Thank you.